technology is deflationary. Before this, I started a tutoring business. I was like a math tutor. I ended up abandoning it because all you're doing is kind of getting in the middle of this transaction where you have a person, a human tutor, you know, teaching the child. And the, the problem, the fundamental problem is there just aren't enough great human tutors to go around. And I didn't really see a way to fix that. It, like the technology was just kind of like a band-aid on top of it, unless you could have something that was a technology that would be more effective than a human tutor or as effective as a human tutor. Then every kid could get a one-on-one -on -one tutor and one-on-one -on -one is is just far and away uh, the best way to learn. Like, you know, particularly what we have with, uh, with the tutor, it's just, it's limitlessly scalable. It works for every kid everywhere on earth. You know, my son who's 10 now, Synthesis is going to be an advantage for him. For my unborn son, it's just going to be something that you like have to do to to keep up, right? Because just everybody's going to have it. It will be something eventually that you know people kind of take for granted. That's great because it will it will level up the civilization. What portion of people now do like really understand math? Uh, you know, well, well enough to use it to uh, solve practical problems. It's, it's probably like way less than five percent, and you know it could totally be a hundred percent. It's we're just we don't have enough teachers to go around. It just has unforeseeable impacts on on the civilization. The non-technological education system is basically built to decide who to give the spots to. There's a kind of famous example with the Chinese government bureaucracy where they have all these tests you have to study for for years and years and years and it's just because you need to do this to get to like a university level. It's because they just don't have enough spots, right? But if, if you have computers, you know, it's just talking to one of our investors whose kid calls the synthesis tutor the robot teacher. If you have robot teachers, then you don't have to worry about who gets the training. So there, there's so much in our society that comes out of this, like we just have limited spots at the Ivy League and we're gonna crown like the elite there that just falls away when you have technological education. I think that's gonna be a major transition uh, for society because you know, we just, just haven't had, it, had anything like that before. So if you think about like a good tutor or a good teacher, they're just constantly asking you questions and just seeing seeing how you respond because they're, they're then gonna adapt. So whereas what we're doing is we're trying to really make sure that you get the concepts. And so whenever we ask a question, whatever your answer comes back, we are diverting, you know, to a new path based on what that answer is. And it's it's really not obvious that it's happening. And like if you watch your kids go through it, it can feel like it's scripted. Uh, that's that's the way I felt when I got like the first kind of demo of this. And then I watched two kids go through it and I was like, oh, because they took totally different paths. They got they each of them got confused about things that the other one didn't get confused about. And so we just skip over that material and then we dive deeper on you know whatever you need help understanding there's another piece of it which is mastery learning which may, which is we want you to have like all the building blocks that's what makes learning just feel easy when it builds on top of itself if you have all the basic foundation then math is really easy because every single new thing is just like one tiny little step, right? And it feels like nothing. When you have the foundations, those steps feel like nothing. You don't even feel like you're learning. So there's to some extent, there are things like we have to cover because we just have to like make sure, you know, every, every kid will take a wildly different path through the lesson.